YouTube, what the crap's going on? And after that massive battle with the Venetti, we are back at the Hannibal with the Gates campaign where my armies at Placentia are regrouping and ready to go raise Patavium to the ground. And I will enjoy that one, I assure you. A great deal, actually. There's some more um, Latin rebels here, so let's uh, put them out of their misery. Sweet. Go rebel against that. So Hasdrubal has leveled up. That's great. Let's go see what he needs. Oh, well, we can drop Dread on him now probably too. No, actually we can't. I think we need Zeal before we can unlock Dread. So we'll go down that line. Putting Dread on your general is just a, a fantastic choice. You really can't go wrong with it. Let's see... Let's move up that spy. The Syracusan fleet thinks they can sit here and raid me. They can think again. They've actually sailed away and are quite close to some Libyan fleets. So I'll go ahead and go finish them off. Ah, they have an Onager ship. Go ahead and auto-resolve this one. It's going to be an easy victory for my men. So Syracuse is now extinct. Sail back to Lily Bayum. Alright. So we have handled things there. Go ahead and finish recruiting out this army. There we go. So I'll have a full stack army there. This army needs to be filled out because I'm going to need to take it to... Uh, Take it to Careless. I have Ballista's support, so my pikemen don't have to worry about walls being in their way. And then I've got Swordsmen as well. Uh, probably wouldn't hurt me to bring an extra Elephant. And... I'm trying to think. Gonna need some more Cav too, so... Let's grab a few of those guys. So we have good Cavalry... And we'll have a few slots left. Probably just more infantry would be good. Just tank up on infantry. There we go. So we've got those armies underway. Got plenty of money to support it. Hannibal's still in Genua. If I were to push on to Pisse, I don't think I have to worry about too much. But it might not be a bad idea to go ahead and clean up the Veneti first in case the Romans decide to send some reinforcements over the pass here. Not sure how likely they are to do that, but I want to keep a, a cautious eye out because I don't know where their reinforcing armies are that came out. There we go. Well, let's go ahead and end this turn and see what happens. I honestly think that some of the reinforcing armies might have ended up at Corsica and Sardina, which, if that's the case, is a terrible place to reinforce. The Venetti are going to come at me again. And just what chance do they really think they have here? Of course they got their Ballista back. They would. Still got a full unit of elephants. Fresh unit of mercenary Numidian noble cav. So they don't have anything cav-wise that scares me. I have units that I don't want to get killed off, though, that Carthaginian Cav. The real question is, do I want to fight this in the city, or do I want to sally out? I'm worried if I fight it in the city that they're... You know what, though, if I fight in the city, they'll probably leave their ballista unguarded. So let's go ahead and fight it in the city limits. And I can probably start in such a location that I would be out of range of their ballista. And I'm guessing that they'll rush their army forward, and they're going to get to meet my noble fighters who are aching to greet them with a warm Carthaginian welcome. If by welcome I mean certain death. So let's see, where are they going to deploy? They're going to deploy out here in front of me. they got their precious ballista. And I've got my morale point here. Ballista! Let's put my ballista here. It's the range look like that on this case, so their ballista is not in range. So as long as none of my units are in front of my ballista, 
Should be safe. I'm going to get together a whole bunch of units that I'm worried about dying and kind of put them back here in the back. I'll pull together my larger infantry groups into one. There we go. And I'll just put some mob up here to maybe see if we can draw their ballista fire. Actually, I'll keep the mob right behind my ballista. Let's think through this here. I got a Carthaginian cab and a Midian cab that's going to be ready to rock and roll. Let's put them here. Actually, I can put one on each side of the city, split up. Put my elephants up here. And I'll put my other infantry right here. And then these are just some more damaged units that I want to keep at a safe distance. Alright, let's put my ballista... Where are these guys at? Well, do they actually have a... Huh, they actually have an artillery piece. We'll bring them up too. I don't know if these two guys are capable of firing. I'm trying to get them to man the ballista. They are. No, they're not. The two of them aren't capable of firing. I guess it takes more crew than that. Yeah, let's see. They've got reinforcements coming. Whoa, what the... What the stupid was that? Okay, I got some Levy Freeman coming from behind me. And they've got... Some troops coming from over there, no big worry. The troops that come behind me, I can just run them over with my elephants. I basically want them to leave their ballista alone. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. Build artillery ready! We understand. I'll let my field artillery open up on these guys. Their ballista are remaining behind, which is fine. I'm just going to leave them there for now. Yeah, how do you like it, you skanks? Eat flaming ballista fire. Hope you enjoy it. My noble fighters are going to be glad to see you here in a minute, too. What's this crap? Mercenary Gallic Light Horse? Yeah, you better run. You better turn tail and run. Okay, my ballista has uh, got a great captive audience there. these guys go up here they've run off somewhere else either that or I just don't have line of sight on them which is possible okay sorry I'm just trying to get get a track on where everything's at here Where's my noble fighters? Alright, got my noble fighters in position. Got my ballista firing at the enemy general down there, which is a noble horse unit. Noble oh no, you're not going to ignore me. And I'm certainly not going to let those Celtic skirmishers get a bunch of free kills. Alright, my noble fighters are going to shred those uh, spearmen. And I'm going to run down these skirmishers with my... Okay, their ballista are apparently in range now. 
Oh, and shooting my cavalry, no doubt. Well, I wasn't paying attention, and these units were outside of my line of sight. Where's my general at? One of our units has used all its ammunition. Yes, when I gave you a movement order a minute ago, I actually meant it. Yes, don't really want you to run into those spears. Noble fighters back here. Alright, let's get my elephants stomping these guys out. That's just a slinger unit, so unconcerned about a slinger unit. Just gonna ignore that spear unit chasing me. We got more units coming in from this flank. So let's get my no noble fighters. Noble fighters down to 85 men. I must have been letting them get shot by those. Oh, there's an oath sworn up here. Wants a piece of me. Let's bring up my second elephant unit. Roll out the doormat here for my. Okay, they've got a Celtic light horse trying to push through. They killed a considerable number of my new mercenary uh, Numidian Noble Cav. Do they have another Ballista on the field? No, just a Scorpion. Wondering where they're getting all these kills from. Okay, those Slingers routed and their Oath Sworn is going to get trampled by two units of my Elephants. They're going to charge me with Mercenary Gallic Light Horse here. Okay, so we took out their Ballista. Can't see very good. These snowy maps, it always gets hard to see. So my infantry are uh, mopping up the enemy infantry, and they've got a uh, oath sworn coming back. Enemy oath sworn general is dead. Yeah, how you feeling about your chances of killing me on that attack now, you jerks? These Celtic warriors are hanging in there longer than I'd like, but ought to be pretty well getting cut down by my Libyans and noble infantry. And those Celtic slingers are gonna get it. The battle is turning in our favor. Okay, let's see. War elephants coming. Oh, I'm gonna particularly enjoy the extinction of this worthless faction. After, oh, really? Got your spears over to my my beat up cab unit, just trying to finish me off, huh? Pretty proud of your little snake maneuvers here that you do, going in a single file and snaking along the buildings to get around my men. Oh, where are you, where are you going? You wanted to play with my horses. How come you don't want to play with the Libyan infantry here, huh? Huh? That's right. The enemy general is dead. Levy Freeman. You're about to be freed from your head and your limbs. I'll make sure you're free. There we go. Benetti suffer yet another decisive defeat. Noble fighters didn't tank out near as many kills as I'd like, but it's probably because I let them get shot up by uh, skirmishers when I wasn't looking. But we managed to keep all of our units alive, which is all I needed there, and most of the Benetti units were killed at this point. And what wasn't is going to wish they were dead. Now, one thing I've learned is it's, it's fun to assassinate enemy generals, um, but when you do so, they just basically get a whole new unit to replace that one. So what I'll do is be following them around with my spy. Uh, we're going to stop the adoption, even though it's going to take all my money. 
Um, yeah, I use my spy to follow them and poison their provisions, and basically just continue to kill off their army. Like, see here, they have a new oath sworn general. This would be a great opportunity to run some military sabotage, poison their provisions. And you can see that that oath sworn general now takes some damage. Deep peace to you. How can I serve Carthage? Let's see, yeah, they've got a new oath sworn general there. See, whenever you kill their general, it's actually a bad thing. Uh, if their armies get away. And I'll let them uh, roam around for one more turn, kind of aimless. What do you wish of me? Let's do some military disruption here. Target stopped. We want the highest percentage of target stopped, which would be this, but that's kind of risky. The Just undermine the authority. Which ought to slow down their movement points. I'll move half its normal range, good. So we've been able to wreak some havoc amongst the Veneti armies there. Bellinos is ranked up again. Uh, let's see. Tempt and pay off. Niskar. We can increase his military training. And Hannibal's guy has been upgraded as well, and we can finish off his militancy. So now he's going to be training these guys at a high rate. So look at that. We've got three silver chevrons in some of our units. It's going to be some really fantastic units here. These noble fighters with 75 attack. Absolutely brilliant. We fight for you, my lord. Okay. So looks like we're kind of getting things settled down. I actually think I'm going to take this fleet and get ready to... Uh, get ready to assist this army on its way to Corsica. And Sardinia. Let's see, at Messana we can build another temple, which will be great. Just kind of boost up the, the happiness in this province, which this province needs. I'm going to build a, a wine trader. And I probably don't really need any libraries at this point. I'll build an Odeon to boost public order. So it looks like we've pretty much gotten ready, and we're ready to single out Italy here. Let's go ahead and end a turn, let our men retrain, regroup a little, and then we'll push forward. Personally, I'm extremely ready to visit some wrath down on the uh, Veneti, who are going to try and retreat back to their homelands. And here come their agents again. Have to send them to the grave. But I'm sure the computer's churning out new ones on each turn end. We'll go ahead and push forward with our armies to the bridge near uh, Veneti territory. Carthago. Someone at Carthago trying to commit arson. They sure enough did. I don't have any agents back there to do anything about it either. Though I can recruit more. Which would be good, because this army is going to need some. Cultural influence, line of sight, military intelligence, tempt, assassination. Recruits, dignitary. Recruit this guy. And we can recruit a... Harass. Wounding enemy agents in self-defense. There we go. Looks like our research is complete. Looks like we were last looking at Sidonian rights. Don't need that anymore, though. Might take some ran damage and shots per minute, though, for my boats. That'd be a quick win. And then this one as well. Make my ship stronger, because we're going to be headed to... Um, headed to Careless soon, so... Wouldn't be a bad idea to get a uh, leg up for my ships. I can retrain to late Libyan hoplites, or late Carthaginian hoplites now. And we have a little bit of money left. Let's use it to rid ourselves of this agent. This enemy priestess. And let's see. I'm going to go ahead and move this army out of Placentia. Yeah, they'll continue to retrain on the road. And let's see, I wonder if Hannibal can move out. Yep, he can. 
Let's go ahead and put the pressure on the Romans. Hannibal has got a taste for Roman blood here, too. But which of my armies doesn't at this point? Is this army a full stack yet? It is. So I can... Uh, and I'll send my agents behind me. Let's get ready to sail to... Uh, ready to sail to Careless, though. Train those boats. All right. I think we're pretty well set to end another turn. We're gonna need more money anyway. And that's I'm pretty much running out of time for this episode too. I have a little bit of time left. We'll see if anything interesting happens in this last bit. Good grief, man! The Venetti ticked me off. Yeah, he better run. You're never going to cross that bridge alive again, too, so enjoy the view on the way home. I promise you I'm going to raise Petavium to the ground. Ready for orders. Not Ready even for going to take you home as slaves. You're going to die. And there will be no mercy. So sweet, we're in really close position here to... Put these guys under. Alright. Hannibal is ready to attack Pizet. No real Roman garrison to speak of. There is a general here, though. Who is this? Pecuvius Postumus. Just ought to resolve this with Hannibal. And occupy. Go ahead and wreck this place. There we go. So Hannibal's moved on. Are we ready to move on from Missana? I do believe we can. Let's see. There's one of these that boosts my economy pretty good. This one's not bad right now. It's trying to Melquart. Okay. I live. We could probably cross over into Italy with with Hasdrubal, and we'll have a Barca on both sides of Italy at this point, which would be fantastic. Okay, let's bring these guys to Messana, and then we'll uh, follow over, so that way we've got... Plenty of agents. This agent can come this way, and then this agent can come support this army. Let's go do a little scouting, in fact, see if we're up against any surprises. Nothing yet. Okay, good. I think we've got everything where we want it. Don't see any attrition areas here. Just make sure we're not going to run into attrition. And we'll just continue on to Careless from there. Oh, another unit I can upgrade. All right. Let's go ahead and end this turn, once we finish anything else that needs to be handled. And let's see, Bale's Wrath. Hannibal can be upgraded again, he's a level 3 Dread, which is incredible. And I, I think I'm going to take him up to a Fearless Warrior here, which gives his guys even more weapon damage and missile attack, which means that the units in his army ought to be... Pretty ferocious. Yeah, look at that. Mercenary Balearic Slingers with 30 missile damage. Uh, that's pretty killer. So, yeah, 30 missile damage, 32 ammunition, 60 base morale. That's incredible. I love it. That is one of the fun things about campaign is you can actually upgrade the ammunition and missile attack on missile units. These beasts slumber, but they could wake to hunt us both. Will you strike while they sleep? Yes, actually, I think I will. So I'm going to go ahead and declare war on the Etruscan League. No doubt the Sam Knights will probably join in soon, too, which means we could be up for some pretty crazy fun here. There's a time when warriors must sheathe the sword. And... <laughs> Laugh is the only thing I can do. You asked me for peace after the crap you gave me. Folks, well, guess what? I'll be back on the next episode, but Patavium won't be back on the episode after that. Air of Carthage, signing off for now.